what to. <laughs> so, can we get a topic you can discuss at brunch? Babies. Babies. Or babies. I heard babies. That works. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm actually 
think that's what happened the first time because I was trying to be polite. But nobody really invited you. Yeah, I don't know. Just for us. Okay, 
fine, we're dating. <laughs> Meanwhile, at Pelusa. Do you guys 
Catholics ever think we ought to be Say, Catholics? No. <laughs> oh, don't make that joke. Don't make that joke. <laughs> I think you can't say that. that. No, you can't say that. People just don't have personalities. <laughs> See, that's, that's not, in this, oh my god. That's why they're in purgatory. Oh my god. No person, good L Lutherans, right? Yeah, more personality on stage than I saw in all 12 seasons of Smallville. <laughs> Send my baby away. Oh, well, there's a monster. I wonder if that's Wait, another piece of kryptonite. Yeah, build out the scene more. No. Yeah, yeah, more scene. More scene. Yeah. Okay, yeah. We're building out the scene more. <laughs> we're in Smallville, Kansas. There's corn everywhere. My mom's uh, from Kansas. Yeah. <laughs> we in Kansas, are we? We're in Smallville. No, we're is that in How close is that to Topeka? City, Kansas. Yeah. Only the Jeeps. And also home of Smallville, because that's where we are. There's <laughs> Let's do establish something important for this show. <laughs> How many people have been in the city? Tim Tebow? And yet somehow, spoiler <laughs> rights from this <laughs> Yes, yes, yeah, don't, don't spoil it! Don't spoil it! No, don't stop! Square miles of Kansas somehow gets all of the kryptonite. <laughs> Mark, don't what? It's perfectly spaced out. We were gonna watch it tonight! It's one new kryptonite room. But then they're doing season one. You start at the beginning. Watching all of Smallville in one night is purgatory. Oh, yes! Yeah. 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 get it. I'm naked in a cornfield. What I would recommend, if anyone wants my opinion about it, is uh, skip to season four. Because... Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Okay, that's the season four. That's season four. That's season four. That's season four. Build the scene out more. <laughs> okay, we're in Smallville, Kansas. Okay? We see Clark Kent in the middle of a cornfield. What is he holding? <laughs> what is he holding? <laughs> what is he dancing with me? He's in here. Here. Oh. 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 In Kansas, they have dancers in cornfields. Sherry, uh, and we see Lex Luthor is also at this ball, <laughs> dancing alongside Clark Kent and I, people. I've got a deep secret that I've kept. Sorry, so sorry. Wait, what's your question? What's your question? I can't die. Is this really a true story? Yes. Yeah. 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 Wait, actually? Yes. Yeah. But is that, does that count as a story? Taking improv, and here you are. Where is she from? Kansas. 
Here, but I thought everyone who wasn't a Lutheran goes to purgatory. So, like, there must be a fuck ton of Lutherans. It's been a week. <laughs> that's, that's bad logic. That just means no one's in heaven. Oh! Cut to heaven. <laughs> spiritual realizations lately, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, so many leather 
looks like my head has been. Hey, other, uh, my honey, uh, <laughs> you're, you're wearing one of my hats, I think. What? My henchman doesn't have a honey. I no, have us. no honey. <laughs> Wait a second, you are impervious to my blows. <laughs> you first, I think. Excuse me, I need to get into this taxi and see if I fit. You can find that after I get my hat back. I will lay down my life for my leader's hat wearing. I escaped, but I came back. So the costumes in this scene took. If you guys just want to keep yeah, that. We had a, That's okay, we'll buy another one. <laughs> the studio directed us to try to win the uh, Indian Oscar for best costume design. <laughs> and we thought the best way to do that was to use 80% of India's hat supply in this. <laughs> I think you should branch out from leather. This is peacock feather. <laughs> to wear this hat, or were the feathers just lying down on the ground? <laughs> they different ways to begin a relationship. <laughs> Well, so I just wanted to let you know that 
you're just looking at it wrong. That's a that's a um, that's a stuffed animal cat. That's not real. <laughs> so we wanted to make it in the movie clear. <laughs> would kill a cat. <laughs> we are so know, it's not dead, dead yet. So Help it. many PETA protesters <laughs> in the beginning filming of the film. We had to just make it so clear that we had changed our ways. You know yes. what? You, you obviously, you know. Am I being I'll, useless? I'll do, Is I'll that what it is? <laughs> it's just, I'll just do everything. What do I need you for? Okay, bye. I have some <laughs> Don't drink milk. What is this that you're wearing on your head? Is it a fedora? <laughs> yeah. But yeah. now I'm not wearing it. <laughs> That's right. You were too slow. <laughs> I still can't believe that the Oscar for best costumes was robbed from you, from us. I mean, your designs were inspired. That fedora, two million rupees. <laughs> yes, I agree, but I think we should not put that in the director's commentary. Let's add it to stop. Master, I brought you a key to match your fedora. Who is this? This is some person that was standing in the middle Wait, of the road. Were you the person that killed a cow the other week? Yes. Ah! I <laughs> you you can't can't a cow? No more animals. <laughs> now is number between one and seven. Six. Seven. Four. Six. Yes. I heard six. Yes. The person whose number is six will receive the immunity now. <laughs> they cannot be voted off tonight. I waited for my whole life for this moment. Thank you. Take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> Improvised tribal council is very, very simple. Members of the tribal council will vote. But first, Let's bring on our jury, Abby and Ray. Abby was voted out last week. <laughs> Before we get to voting, let's have a little talk. Jordana, today was crazy. <laughs> I mean, we had the we had the challenge. Uh, we obviously stood on the pole longer than everybody, and that was great. And that wasn't the crazy part, though, because we got back to camp, and Eli threw out all of our rice, all of it, <laughs> every <laughs> last bit. Eli, what? <laughs> if you know you're going home, you throw a hail mary. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't trying to make you like me more. 
Who were you trying to <laughs> Bold move, Eli. <laughs> that wasn't the only bold move that was made at base camp, was it, Sarah? Look, I, I've always said I, I can't lie on this game, and, you know, Karen threw the challenge, and... What? Was, I, no, like, I won that. <laughs> I won that, fair and square. It was individual. Why did you yeah. throw it? Jeff, this game is so hard, all right? You don't understand the stress that I'm under, okay? I have three kids and a fourth kid that has cancer, Jeff. <laughs> over the past few weeks. <laughs> she told me, some people call it a showman's, and maybe it is. <laughs> In fact, it definitely is, because I'm about to betray her. <laughs> I'm about the fourth kid. <laughs> Too many. <laughs> <laughs> we in the Travel Council can hear all of your dialogue. <laughs> Karen, you're 
Mommy's gonna do whatever she has to do for your kid and for the kid. <laughs> Christina. <laughs> Maybe outside of this game we could have been friends. <laughs> but you betrayed my trust. <laughs> and tell me it's raining. <laughs>
about a sports drama for you right now, but it's not a traditional sports drama. Uh, it's a, it's a non-traditional one. It's not traditional. Um, uh, all we need to get started is uh, a sport or activity uh, that you wouldn't expect a sports movie to be made now. Croquet! You don't think you were cut out for this? No, I'm a musical you... theater kid. I never thought I'd be using mallets. But you're a phenomenal croquet player. And I spent $30,000 to get you to this tournament, OK? <laughs> 30 grand. I get it, Dad. That's your college education. <laughs> Wait, what? If you win. <laughs> Hold on, I'm getting a phone call. OK. <laughs> hey, Dan. Yeah. This is the doctor. OK. <laughs> You have a disease that will take thirty thousand dollars a year. <laughs> oh my god! I hope you didn't spend it on something real dumb. <laughs> yeah. I spent it on something. Oh, I'm gonna no. get that money though. You do that. Actually, I don't believe in you. Or whoever will make that money. What's going on? You want to hit these balls or what? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, hey, Steve. Listen. I got something to tell you. Propane, that's quite propane. Look, after you win this, after you win this tournament, you have to sit down and have a talk. No, 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 you play with your friends, but okay. after you win, I got something to tell you. <laughs>
<laughs> Katie, we're going to you. <laughs> Is Katie the king? I think uh, that's probably good, guys. <laughs> Fear not, Andrew, you guys, we believe in you! We believe in you! Hey guys, how's Stiff on the Roof going? It's a two-woman production! <laughs>